This is Honor X78 and in today's video I would like to share the top 5 pro tips and features for this device. So to start off I will demonstrate that you can set up the fingerprint recognition screen lock method. So open settings, then enter the biometrics and password category, go for the fingerprint ID option, then set the backup screen lock method to go alongside the biometrical one. After this step is out of the way, turn on the unlock device toggle and you can start enrolling the fingerprint. So as you can see the scanner is located at the side power button. So in order to add your fingerprint you gotta just gradually or rather continuously and repetitively lay your fingerprint onto the sensor until the entire surface of your fingertip will be scanned. follow the instructions and you should be golden. So as you can see my fingerprint was successfully added so I can now start using it to unlock the screen of my phone. So let's do that a few times and see how well and fast it works. Well it's fairly fairly decent if you ask me. The next option on the agenda is the screen, screen refresh rate and how you can change it. So in order to do that, you will need to launch settings again, go for the display and brightness category, and in there you'll find the system navigation, or excuse me, screen refresh rate. There are two values you can go for, either 60 or standard refresh rate of 60 hertz, or high one of 90 hertz. Long story short, higher value will get you smoother animations and lower value will reduce the power consumption. Um, so, uh, as you could have already noticed, there is also the third option that is dynamic, which will, once set to, will automatically switch between all available refresh rate values automatically in accordance with the current system state and other factors that it will automatically uh, consider. So, well, if you do not want to manually change the refresh rate value depending on, let's say, the sufficient of power or well just your preference you can just set it to dynamic and let the system do its magic the next feature or the next uh, option that I wanted to share is how you can change the system navigation type as you could have already noticed up until this point in the video I've been using gestures to navigate through the interface but if you are an old-school soul and would like to have digital buttons instead you can absolutely do that by going in the system and updates category of settings in here open the system navigation page and switch the well, navigation type to three key navigation and now as you can see the three digital buttons appeared at the bottom part of the display which now are used for the system navigation instead of gestures the next option, the fourth one, uh, is, well, I've accidentally launched the gestures navigation tutorial, so <laughs> let me quickly deal with that. Alrighty, so uh, from here, the following tip is how you can change the home screen's transition animations. So just open up the home screen, make the shrink and swipe, and go for the transi transitions options at the bottom. Now simply choose what animations you would like more. You like more, excuse me. So I'll go with windmill, let's say, and then just get back to the home screen and the changes will be successfully applied. And fifth and final tip is also a small one, that's how you can activate or display the battery percentage over here, because as you can see right now it is not visible. So launch settings, find and open the battery section, then expand the battery percentage menu and simply choose whether you would like to have your battery percentage next to the battery icon or inside the battery icon. Alrighty, so that will be it for this video guys, thanks for watching, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like, 
comment and subscribe. Bye-bye.